When it comes to taking your pictures, your clip art, or your objects, and you want to scale them so they're proportional, so they're not stretched too far vertically, so they look tall and skinny, for example, in this picture, or um, too wide and fat, you can click on the picture and right-click and go to your size and position. Left-click on that, and we're looking in the scale section. Right now, it's, the default is to set to scale it at 29%, and it's got a lock aspect ratio. By default, that's checked. What that means is if I come in here and I say, look, the height I'd like to increase to 30% or maybe something like 35%. The moment I hit the tab key and I tab out of the height, it's going to keep it proportional or keep that aspect ratio locked. 35% height is going to update and also change the width to 35% when I hit the tab key. Makes it larger, doesn't it? That means it doesn't distort the picture. In other words, look, if you're going to change the picture to make it larger, don't just click and drag it and stretch it because then it'll look wide and fat and just don't change the height. Keep it proportional. Keep the aspect ratio together of 2 to 1. If that's vertically, it's twice the size as it is horizontally. Now you can uncheck this and go ahead and change it and say, well, now you're 15% hit the tab key. It won't automatically update the width. It'll keep them as two separate measurements here. It won't lock them in. So that way they look wide and fat, which I don't like. So I'm going to go ahead and lock it in and type in 29%, hit the tab key, and go ahead and close out. Now again, in the previous training videos, you can always size your image by grabbing one of these handles, but then keep in mind that your proportion is going to be out of whack if you grab, for example, the middle right-hand handle. When you hover over it, it turns my pointer into a two-way arrow. When I click and drag, they get oblong and fat, which I'll come up here and hit my undo key. Of course, I can stretch them vertically, and they look tall and skinny, which I'll go ahead and hit the undo key again. But instead, if I grab a corner, and I click and drag it. With pictures, it looks like without holding down the shift key, it keeps it proportional, but just in case, for objects, hold down the shift key, and it will keep the aspect ratio locked, so it won't stretch them horizontally or vertically, but in proportion. So when I let go, it's bigger, and they don't look like they're getting fat or skinny. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.